I've been asked recently how it is I have uh, posts on my blogs automatically announced on my Twitter account. And it's really quite easy, actually. Once you've got your Twitter account all set up and everything, you use a service called Twitter Feed, and that's at twitterfeed.com. And once you get there, you log into it with an open ID. Open ID is a open identification service. Basically, once you're logged into one source, uh, you can then use that login across any place that accepts an open ID. In this case, I use one from a blog that I've got on WordPress.com, and the address of that blog is actually the uh, the open ID URL. So I go back over to Twitter feed and click log into Twitter feed using your open ID. And now you can get open ID from many different sources. Here's a drop down. You can get them from all of any of these places you can get an open ID that you can use in many places across the web. So we'll close that up. And the name of my blog, the URL for my WordPress.com blog is my open ID, so I go ahead and I log in there. Since I'm logged into the WordPress.com blog, using this URL logs me into Twitter feed. And now, to set up a new one, set, go to my Twitter feeds or create a new one. And here we have, as you can see, I have several blogs that uh, the new posts are handled by Twitter feed to automatically update my Twitter account. Create a new Twitter feed, and then here you want the username and password for your Twitter account logged in here because Twitter feed needs it in order to update your Twitter account. You click this link to test it and make sure it works, and this does. Now the most important part you need here is the RSS feed URL. Now that you know, where you get that from is going to vary from one blog to another based on your template and the way you've got it set up. In my case, on my blog, I've got it set up so that the bottom of each post, I have a link to my RSS feed. So I just right click on this and hit copy link location and go back to Twitter feed and paste it in here. And then test the RSS feed just to make sure a Twitter feed can read it. And it will load your RSS feed and try to parse it. And here it was successful, so it's a good feed. Now, update frequency, I leave that set at every hour and to post up to two up to five new releases with each update. Now, Twitter messages can only be 140 characters long, so I don't bother with having the description. I just switch it to title only. I leave the include item link checkbox ticked because the whole point is to have a nice handy collection of links that people can use to get to your blog posts from your Twitter, your Twitter page. Shorten the link through tiny URL or any of these other URL shortening services. I leave it at tiny URL for right now. Post new items based on publication date. And what I also do is prefix each new tweet with new post and a colon. And the active box is checked. And then from there, you just simply click Create. Once you do that, Twitter feed will now be monitoring your blog's RSS feed. And when you publish a new post, Twitter feed will catch that in the feed every time when it updates your feed. And when it finds a new post, it will post it onto your Twitter account. New post, the title of the post, and a tiny URL link that people can click on to get straight to that post. There you have it. Very simple, very easy. It's a guaranteed way to 
make it easy for people to find your new posts. These links, by the way, are no follow, so they're not good for uh, passing page rank or anything like that. They're just simply a convenience for people who follow you on Twitter to be able to get to your new blog postings. This video was brought to you in part by DomainCarryOut.com, exclusive premium domains at bargain prices.